This is my youngest boy. He is a one-year-old white Pomeranian, and one day he started bolting in the chest area. I decided to start this channel because as a dog mom, I wanted to share what I've encountered while raising my babies, including health issues, training, and happy times. I hope it could be of some value to other pet parents, so feel free to leave questions or share your story in the comments. His name is Rice, and this is what he normally looks like. He is a healthy boy with a very fluffy and thick white coat. He also doesn't like to exercise. We can see here that the chest area is slightly thinning out. We took him to the vet today. The bold area is actually quite large. It's just been covered up by the surrounding fur. I did ask around and also researched. A lot of people and pictures showed that this looked the same or similar to the onset of black skin disease. I was very worried. The vet wasn't entirely sure either, but they did notice some yellow scabs and so prescribed an antibacterial topical wipe. We will need to do this for one week. Our vet suspects that it may be caused by allergies either from food, bedding, the home or just random skin allergies. But he's been living the same way for a year with no issues. While monitoring his progress, I noticed his eyes were getting more teary than usual. The fur around his eyes are starting to turn brown from the tears. Hair loss is traveling downwards towards the tummy area. It's a beautiful day today and Rice is still balding. He has started to lose hair from underneath his arms. This side also. We know that this isn't the puppy uglies because he's already been through that. At the time of filming, he is one year old. There is so much dead hair here and we need to comb it out to prevent matting. I'm coming very gently. It doesn't bother him at all. And this lower part here is a new balding section. Ooh, this looks like new hair. Let's cover you up. Rice is a very cooperative baby. This is three weeks after. He is still not done, but the good thing is, since there is new baby hair growing, we could rule out the more severe diseases that may be associated with similar hair loss. As you can see, the chest balding area has almost reached the tummy. After coming out the dead hair, this is what he looks like. It's taken quite a long time for a new hair to grow, and it looks quite limp. He's got these loose bits of dead hair that you can just pick out like this. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt, he is just curious. It's clearer from this angle. The armpits are still bald and the tummy hair looks a bit like sheep's wool. Good job! It's been over a month and he is still missing a chunk of hair. He's also grown a little red lump near his nose. Took him to the vet a few days ago and they said the little lump is an infection so now he needs to be on a course of antibiotics. Oops. Today I'm mixing his medicine with a teaspoon of egg. We went to the vet today for his annual shots. He was a very brave boy. This is what Rice looks like, and he is thinning near the thighs. His coat is not as dense as before, and he's also gotten chubbier. Rice has grown a lot of new hair. This is all new. They're about one centimeter in length. The armpit area still has some catching up to do. His eyes are becoming worse though. Look at all that discoloration of the fur caused by excessive tear production. We've put him on hypoallergic kibbles since one week ago, so we'll give it some time to see if diet is the problem. 
as to the lump, it's gotten a little bit better, but it's still there. It's been six weeks and rice is already looking much better. We've got a new brush and it's so awesome. You can just click and the hair comes out just like that. No, 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 that's not food. So yeah, you get a rectangular patch of hair. It's been two months since and Rice has fully recovered with a new chest and tummy full of hair. The excessive tear problem is still quite the same. We're working on it. If your baby is experiencing significant hair loss after the initial coat change, reasons could range from dramatic seasonal shedding to allergies or severe diseases. Always consult your vet ASAP so if it's bad, you can catch it early. For my case, the vet initially suspected allergies but nothing was really confirmed in the end. It hasn't happened ever since changing kibbles, so fingers crossed. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss a new video. I hope to see you soon with more updates. Bye!